Hello, welcome to my quick audio and video tour about the Wii Guitar Project. Uh, you can see this is the guitar, it's a Fender Strat copy with the pickups, behind the pickups hollowed out and a Wii remote mounted horizontally inside there. There's also a micro camera and the other cosmetic changes are the five little buttons you can see, a sync button and four other buttons that sync to the computer and the other buttons are uh, up, down, A and B on the Wii Remote respectively and they go into Maximus P. Um, as for the rest of the guitar it's all been rewired because it sounded like rubbish because it's just a Fender Strat copy, it's been resprayed and all the pickups have been set up to make it sound nice and it just comes with a, it's just got a normal standard audio output jack on the end. Um, so yeah, so the, the rest of this video is going to show you about the rest of the project and show you the software and hardware and how the buttons and the camera work together to make the project work. So this is the software interface, this is the uh, behind the scenes interface. So you can, from here you can control all the audio effects. You can see there's the input, so you can turn, you can choose your input and turn that on and effect, change the gain there. So you turn the audio on, and you can see you get a signal in, but the output's not up, so we turn that up. For this uh, demo, I've turned the volume of the guitar down, just so I can hear my voice rather than the guitar. You can see that I'm playing the guitar now, and it's making the, the volume go, and the video one is generating the video. In the top right-hand corner, it's the Wii guitar control stuff, so you press connect to connect the Wii remote and disconnect to disconnect it. Um, it can be a little bit temperamental sometimes, but that's just the Wii mount, so um, I'll show you it connecting now. Let's bring up the other video. You can see, and you press the red button on the front of the guitar, and it connects. You press the connect button first, and then the red button on the guitar, and it connects. And you can see that you've got a, the, all the raw data from the Wii remote is coming through. You can see when you press the other buttons, they come up in Maximus P, so one, two, three and four. I started an audio loop so I just click through that a few times because button three starts the audio loops. There were some problems with the button three on the test day but they've all been sorted now. So the rest of the patch is on the left hand side it's all the um, audio effects and in the bottom left it shows you which audio effect is selected using buttons 1 and 2 on the Wii Remote. You can use the carousel style switcher so you can switch through the effects. So we're on gain and overdrive and if you lift the guitar up like this you see it turns gain and overdrive on, lift it up again it turns them off. So this works the same for all the effects apart from pitch so you can turn phaser on or you can turn phaser off. Scroll down, you can see that delay works in the same way. And pitch, you scroll right down to the bottom and it turns pitch on. And then it gives you the full scale to, to use to change the pitch. Up one semitone and down a semitone. There's also a manual overdrive just above that to turn pitch higher and lower. With this system, it means you can turn multiple effects on. So I can turn delay on, and then I can turn pitch on, meaning that I've got a delayed pitch. It doesn't turn the delay off, it keeps it on until I scroll back to the delay. And turn the delay off. I have a manual override of all the audio effects and presets for each one. So you can see there's four presets for the overdrive. There's four for the phaser, and there's a stage control there as well. The tap tempo is an optional. It's set to 400 because of loops. And it runs with the loops. And then the pitch you can turn on manually behind as well. The video is controlled. The video one is generated by the sound of the guitar. And video two is the micro camera on the guitar. As you can see for this demonstration, it's a little video of me just to show you that it does work. There's mix mode. So auto mix is the... Um, volume of the guitar affects how fast it pans, so the louder you play the quicker it pans left and right and also affects how much video one is actually produced 
So you can see the louder you play, the more video one, quicker it crossfades. There's another mix mode as well. There's manual, it makes a little fader appear so you can switch left and right through the videos. And off, which means it just sticks it right in the middle and you get both of both of them. So I'm going to set this to manual, just get rid of me for a second and press stop on the video. I don't want to see me anymore. Uh, other features I haven't talked about is the threshold, meaning you can change how far you have to move the guitar for the effects to turn on, so you can see the little dot move. That shows you how fast you see the delay, you don't have to move it as far to turn the delay on and off. So let's uh, disconnect the Wii Remote and show you it in action. Thank you. 